So there's one thing I never understood about buying a new phone, and that is fighting to get the color phone that you want just to cover it all up with a case. So in my eyes, that kind of defeats the purpose of trying to get a particular color of a phone and trying to get a phone that's out of stock because you want a particular color when all you're going to do is cover it up with an outer box or cover it up with some case where you can't even see what color it is anyways. So when I first get a phone, my first case for the most part always got to be some type of case where I can see the phone and I can see the color of the phone where I can still enjoy the phone for what it is and just the beauty of the phone and the, and the design of the phone because I feel like like you're kind of neglecting the hard work it went to designing the phone and making it look nice and stuff like that if you're gonna pop a case on it as soon as you grab the phone out the box so that's why for my first uh, iPhone case for my iPhone 11 Pro I went with the silicone see-through case this bad boy is highly rated on Amazon don't cost that much at all but it has mostly all five star reviews so let's go ahead and start talking about the case and some of the uh, key things um, first and foremost is silicone I already mentioned that twice already so it's not that super hard plastic that's gonna scratch up your phone it fits in the case nice and snug it doesn't move around it doesn't creak or anything like that also you don't have to worry about this case blocking your speakers or your charging port your volume up and down buttons are covered with the silicone case and also your lock button is also covered up too with the case in a good way not in a bad way now on this phone i noticed that the uh where the three cameras are at the the glass kind of sticks up a little bit higher than the rest of the phone so i was hoping to have a case that actually rises up at the same distance that that glass rises up for the uh, camera lenses but this case actually goes a little bit higher than the lenses themselves and I understand why they did that the reason why they done that is so that if you happen to drop your phone on its backside or if it slides across the concrete on the back you won't be scratching your phone uh, lenses and another thing they added to the back of the case which I thought was a real good thought um, because a lot of these see-through cases they do get scratched up and it makes it, it makes it look bad because they're see-through and so it kind of looks like the phone is scratched but it's not so another thing they added to the back of the case is that they got like these little feet that go around inside each corner of the, of the uh, case so when you got your phone set down on a flat surface or anything like that um the back of the case actually isn't touching it it's actually the feet that's lifting it off the uh, surface so that's a real nice thought so that's going to do it for this nice little affordable silicone case. There are more cases I'm going to buy. This is just my first one I decided to go with just so I can be able to see my phone and, you know, show it off a little bit. You know, what's the point in having something that just came out with a certain color to it and stuff like that if you're just going to cover it all up, like I said in the beginning of the video. But one thing I do like that Apple is doing and other, other third-party manufacturers, they're coming out with cases that actually have the same exact color of your phone. So they do have cases that actually you can put on, I can put on my iPhone 11 Pro and that matches the green on back of it. It's actually more intense because in person this green actually don't look that intense like at all. You know, sometimes it do, but most of the time it looks absolutely gray. It don't look like nowhere near green. If you're looking to buy this case, you like what you've seen and you think, you know, it'll fit for you. There's a link down inside the description where you can quickly click on that, go buy it, you know, um, order it through my shop to where I can get a credit. Also, if the video helped you or you just enjoyed the presentation of the video, give this video a thumbs up to boost my morale and just get, let me know I'm doing a good job, things of that nature. And if you're new and you like what you've seen and you want to, you know, subscribe to a motherfucking site, let me stop. <laughs> And if you're new to the channel, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's not going to bite. And ring that bell while you're at it. You know, I keep on forgetting to mention that. I think this is my first time ever mentioning that inside my videos. I keep forgetting, you know, YouTube changes so much. There's people that I've been subscribed to for a long time. I haven't even seen a video from them for years until I clicked on their channel and realized they're still putting up videos. I never knew because I never seen their videos popping up. And that's kind of what happened to me on my gaming channel. But we ain't going to talk about that. With that being said, people of YouTube, it's been your boy, The Hobby Collector. And thank you guys for watching and I'm out. Peace.